Hey, this is Pastor Lafayette. Thank you for joining me today. It's uh, Thursday, and we are in Psalm chapter 54. So turn in your Bible to Psalm chapter 54, starting verse 1. Be merciful to me, O God, for man would swallow me up. Fighting all day, he oppresses me. My enemies would hound me all day. For there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. In God, I have put, I will praise his word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear. What can flesh do to me? All day they twist my words. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together, they hide, they mark my steps when they lie in wait for my life. Shall they escape by iniquity? In anger, cast down the peoples, O God. You number my wanderings. Put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know, because God is for me. In God I will praise his word. In the Lord I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust, and I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Vows made to you are binding upon me, O God. I will render praises to you. For you have delivered my soul from death. Have you not kept my feet from falling, that I might walk before God in the light of the living? <clears throat> Again, David is dealing with real enemies. We're not talking about people who are just talking bad about him. We're talking about people who want to kill him people who want to hunt him down and take his literal life. Now, we might not be in the same situation as David, but I would say that uh, with the writings of David being someone who's concerned with people who literally are trying to destroy his position and take his life from him, that we could take comfort in these things, knowing that for the most part, not many of us have someone out to actually kill us, except, of course, the, the devil. Not many of us have a human enemy who wants to literally uh, shoot us, stab us, or somehow run us over with a car. They might think about it, but they don't literally plan on doing it. But all of us have days when the when people who people who speak against us or people who are our enemies speak up or voice things. <clears throat> That's why this is good. If David can put his trust in God when his life is literally on the line, then we certainly can put our trust in God. Verse 1, he's just calling upon, the, upon God. He says man's going to swallow him. In verse 2, his enemies hound him. But then he says, verse 3, whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Do you say that? Can you say that? Is that something that you voiced often? Lord, I'm afraid, but I trust in you. <clears throat> Lord, I'm, you know, Lord, I'm sensing a little bit of fear here, but I trust in you. See, courage isn't the absence of fear. Courage is something you do in the face of fear. It's saying, I'm just going to believe and trust and go out there and give it my best. But see, we don't have to just give it our best. We get to trust in Him. How awesome is that? He says, I'll not fear, verse 4. What can flesh do to me? They twist my words all the time. Their thoughts are always evil against me. They even get together. They hide. They watch my steps. They lie in wait. Lord, I am asking you to cast them down. Lord, I trust in you. They don't. So take up my cause. Take up my case and help me. Lord, you know all about me. You know what people are doing and how they're against me. You know it all. Father, I'm asking that you help me out here. And I believe that you will. 
I love the Psalms for this reason. Because really, they're, they're the life of, of David. As someone who experiences uh, mental torment, someone who experiences physical threats, someone who, uh, who experiences uh, verbal threats, and he always turns it around. In the Psalms, you will find the key to your overcoming. And what is that key? To always turn it back to the Lord and praise Him and thank Him in the midst of your mess. He is faithful. Put your trust in Him. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.